This week we're taking a look at a newly acquired bottle of Diamine ink. I mean newly acquired as I'm recording this, not as I am uploading it. Obviously this is going to come out probably a few months after I've actually acquired it. But it is still pretty full. I've only used it a little bit. So far I have it in my Muji Aluminum. I just put it in the original cartridge that came with the pen. I need to get a converter for it or see if one I have fits. Um, so it's in there. I also put it in um, a Caveco Perkeo that I smoothed the nib for and gave it to my mom. She likes purple. This is kind of a blue purple, which you'll see in a bit. So not use it a ton, but I've been writing a lot with the Muji. So I mean, it's still pretty full, but I've gotten some use out of it. This ink, um, I wasn't too sure what to expect when I got it. I just got it because if you remember the vintage Schaefer I got recently from a friend on Discord, he swears by this ink. So I decided to buy it. It was only four bucks on eBay, so why not? took a long time to arrive. eBay actually gave me a refund because it took so long. Um, and then I eventually did get it. Uh, I believe it was two months or so after I ordered it. And there was no tracking or anything. So let's go ahead and take a look at how it writes. Aluminum's kind of funky. <laughs> this pin, there was that little hard start, but I think that's just the pin. It's the tines are super close together. So I'll probably kind of tune that a little later. But once you get it writing, it's good. It's just always that one little hard start. No biggie. So I don't know if it'll really show right here, but it's kind of like a bluish purple, dark purple. And again, depending on the paper and the nib, it can look bluer or purple. I think on this paper, it looks more purple, but on a less absorbent paper, it looks more bluish, but with purple in it. And again, I will throw up the uh, like swatch paper or whatever. I don't know what I call that big sheet of paper. Um, which the person that loves this ink told me it looks more navy in that picture. So keep that in mind. This pen, I'm, this ink I'm telling you, it, it changes drastically depending on the paper from what I've experienced so far. I have another Rhodia pad. Let's see if it's probably the same paper. Okay cat hair on it. Lovely. Um, it should be the same paper, but I mean, I'll, I'll test it real quick for you guys. Oh, that feels different. That feels a lot less absorbent, more smooth. didn't hard start either. It hard, it's so hard started on this one. So I don't know if that's fully going to show. They look mm, pretty identical on both, but it did feel nicer on this tiny Rhodia. That's about all there is to the ink. If you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.